As you may know, currently there are two versions of ChatGPT. You have ChatGPT 3.5, which is free, and ChatGPT 4, which is a more advanced AI. In this video, I'll be trying both. I'll be comparing the two. I'll write the same exact query for ChatGPT 3.5 and for ChatGPT 4. And then I'll try to evaluate the produced results. So what I'll do is first I'll ask both AIs to write a program, a web app, and then I'll ask a follow-up question to add something to that program. And we'll see how the results will be. Let's start. Create a web app that converts miles to kilometers. Use Flask. That will be the query. And I'll copy that and paste it in here as well. So that's ChatGPT 3.5. That's ChatGPT 4. So with this query, I expect the AIs to build me a web app using Flask. Flask is a web framework for Python. So this will be Python code. So I'll press enter in both and see what happens. So I can see the difference already. ChatGPT4 is providing steps so to set up the environment, while ChatGPT3 starts right away with providing the code, which is down here. So that's one difference. Now let's look at the code. First, I'll copy each of these snippets of code and I'll paste it in an IDE and I'll run it so we can see the results for both. So let's start with copying the code of ChatGPT3. Um, so I'll copy the code. So it, it tells me to place the code in an app.py file. So there I have two projects. I've created already two projects in PyCharm, which is an IDE used for Python, I'll paste that code here in the project for ChatGPT3 here on the left, and then go back here and copy the code for ChatGPT4 and paste it here on the right. So there we go. And then we also have some other files. So if we scroll down, it tells us to create a templates folder and create an index.html file inside that templates folder. So let's go ahead. So we're in ChatGPT3. I'll create the templates directory and inside templates I'll create an HTML file, index.html. Let's delete this code and copy this HTML code and paste it there, right? ChatGPT4 is asking us to create also a templates folder and create two files, not one, but two inside templates. So let's do that. New directory templates and inside templates create two HTML files results.html let's delete that code and also form yes form.html delete that code and paste the relevant code in each so form.html I'll copy that and paste it in form.html and then go back here copy result.html and paste it in result.html. Okay, what's uh, what's next? Next is we run the app. So that's it. Also, ChatGPT4 it says us to run the app. So I'll run the app in both and see what we get. Now, um, ChatGPT4 is also including another section here on how to improve the application. So it says that we can add CSS and so on. Now let's run the apps. Hmm. So I'll open the 
terminal to run flask apps you do python followed by the name of the python file and execute let's do the same here and let's run the other app as well but i'll make a small change um, here i need to specify a different port because port 5000 is occupied so let's specify 5001 and run so we have two urls now this and that let's see what each of them will give us and so that's the result for the app built with chat gpt3 and that's from chat gpt4 so it's the same as we were expecting because it's a simple app but the code is different so with chat gpt4 we got two files which in my opinion is a good thing because it's keeping things organized so we got two html files and with chat gpt3 we got only one file and that's about the html code regarding the python code i do prefer the code of chat gpt3 because chat gpt3 isolated the calculation the processing in a separate function so miles to kilometers was calculated by a function while chat gpt4 included that calculation inside the view inside the convert view which is a function used to handle the http requests for that particular url so as a conclusion which one is better to build something i would say both had their pros and cons as you saw here chat gpt3 tended to be more concise in the answer chat gpt4 gave us more information extra information so such as talking about css or providing a form and a result.html file so i would say chat gpt3 is, is still good to use to build programs if you don't want to pay 20 dollars per month for, for chat gpt4 so chat gpt3 is still good however as you'll see in the later sections we will use proper ai tools which are even better than chat gpt3 and 4 because they are integrated with the code editors so you don't have to copy code from your browser to your IDE. The code will be generated inside the IDE. Now, before we end this video, let's ask a quick follow-up question, such as add a feature to convert kilometers to miles. So I'll copy that and place it in ChatGPT4 as well. Press enter here, press enter here, and let's see what they will do. Um, so it says update the app.py file, modify the Flask application. So it's basically the same thing. So both of them give us the updated code here. ChatGPT4 is telling us to update the HTML template as well, form.html, the updated code, result.html as well. ChatGPT3 is also giving us the updated index.html code and also tells us how to run the app. Same for ChatGPT4. ChatGPT4 also includes this further improvement section. So that's a standard, obviously, for ChatGPT4. And I'll just quickly copy this code and paste it in app.py of ChatGPT3 and then copy index.html place it in the existing index.html for chatgpt3 overwriting that existing code and then do the same for chatgpt4 and that's the app.py code it goes here and then we have form.html it goes here and lastly, result.html, 
it goes in result.html. And I'll just go in the browser and reload the first app. So that's what we get from ChatGPT3. I'm zooming in and let's reload this as well. So here we go. You can see a small difference here. The button here is called differently between the two apps. And ChatGPT4 gave us another title, like in big font. And let's try finally uh, 10 converted. We get this. Let's have 10 for kilometers. We get this. It's working for miles. 10 convert to kilometers. It goes to another page. So ChatGPT4 is using another approach. And it gives us this other page, convert another. And uh, let's try with kilometers, convert to miles. So it takes us to a new page. So again, that's kind of an overkill with ChatGPT4. So ChatGPT4 is making things a bit more complex than they should be. ChatGPT3 is keeping things easier. Now that has pros and cons because uh, if you were to extend this app, the structure that ChatGPT4 is using would be easier to work with compared to the simple structure that ChatGPT3 offered us. So I would say that ChatGPT4 is better for more complex apps and ChatGPT3 is better for simpler apps. So with that, I thank you for following this video and please follow the next videos where I'll cover AI code assistance in depth. See you there. Thanks.